Hi, Philip. We had a great day about innovation. What are you up today with innovation? Well, uh, today with innovation, uh, in fact, I am uh, giving people the means uh, to express their talent uh, efficiently in their uh, enterprise. Oh, how do you do that? Well, in fact, uh, most of the time you get an ad hoc culture in the company. And people do things their own way. Uh, more often than not, ways they have inherited from another company, or things they have learned at school, or their personal uh, method. And this is difficult then to compare their output with uh, the one of other people. It's difficult to outsource their work and so on. So here, what I am trying to do is first creating a shared culture so that people can talk the same language, express the same concepts. And so if one uh, has a common language, he can really use his talents through a, definite, uh, through a specified framework. And once we have this shared culture in place, People can start cross-pollinating ideas because people, uh, ideas will mesh with each other. And that's the whole concept of a, a culture of sharing. So the shared culture is more about the abilities and the skills of an individual person, whereas the uh, culture of sharing is more of the same, but for the group as a whole. How fascinating. And how do you find out that people start sharing? What are signs for that? Signs that people are sharing. Yes. Well, in fact, uh, people, they learn through examples. So once we have one person who has been trained into uh, a given way, he produce results, examples, templates, or content, and we can use that to showcase to the other persons, look, that's what we expect from you. Yeah. And w if you want to know more, I will explain you the basics, but if you want to know more, go to this reference person. So it's like putting people in the spotlight, and if these, pe these individuals are in the spotlight, they, they get recognition. And so they are recognized for being able to apply their talent. But it's also part of the, uh, of the evaluation system for people, because if you put that as a criteria, if you use the language of the uh, culture you are trying to put in place, then you are rewarded for it. So being put in the spotlight and being rewarded uh, materially by uh, an increase of salary or bonus and so on, helps a lot. So that's uh, a way we, we do this. And uh, it really sounds fascinating. And this kind of uh, spotlight, doesn't it create a competition? No, because uh, it's more like, let's say we learn how to model a number of concepts, like uh, domain modeling and so on. Uh, another person would be uh, put in the spotlight for process modeling, another one for deploying hardware. So there's no competition really, because these people they are already uh, overloaded with work, but the overload is not because of the work uh, itself, but because of the mess which is created by the lack of a, an, an approach which is shared uh, by everybody. So uh, by streamlining streamli their ways of working, they really can remove a lot of, uh, let's say, a lot of chaff from their uh, their daily lives. Philip, I feel your huge expertise and experience in that field. Could you sum it up in a few words, what you just explained? Yeah, sure. Uh, in fact, uh, what I do, I help manifesting the talent of people. And today, it's very rare that uh, a company is busy doing all the work. So they do it for clients and they use suppliers for convey, conducting a lot of the work. So here, this culture thing is about streamlining the whole ecosystem. So it enables an ecosystem of uh, partners to take place. And I think there is huge value in that. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you.